NASA is preparing to release its long-delayed 3i Atlas imagery on November 19th, and the timing has sparked a surge in independent observations. Over the past few days, two amateur captures in particular have drawn widespread attention, each for a completely different reason. The first comes from an astrophotographer in New Mexico. A clear textbook image of 3i Atlas with a green coma, an ion tail, and dust structures that make it look unmistakably comet-like. It's the kind of data astronomers expected to see as the object moves farther from the sun. The second image is much harder to explain. In a separate capture, the bright core of 3i Atlas appears surrounded by five distinct points of light positioned with a symmetry that doesn't fit easily into common imaging artifacts. They could be diffraction spikes, they could be internal reflections, they could be background stars distorted by the object's extreme brightness. But the arrangement is unusual enough that many viewers immediately noted how placed the pattern looks. Are these five points simply the camera responding to an intensely bright interstellar object? Or are we seeing something that deserves more scrutiny, especially with NASA's official data only hours away? with one amateur photo reinforcing the comet interpretation and another challenging it. The stage is set for the November 19th release to carry far more weight than expected. What complicates the situation further is that this isn't happening in isolation. Astrophotographers in Texas have reported footage that appears to show 3i Atlas rotating, with gas and dust being thrown around its coma in a way that produces a visible, spiraling fireball structure. Rotation in comets is expected, but what caught the observer off guard was the depth and three-dimensionality of the material, which behaved less like a stable tail and more like an enveloping cloud that twists as the nucleus turns. The effect is striking, but also curious. For an object estimated to be at least several kilometers across, its rotation should typically be subtle at amateur resolutions. Yet here, the movement appears obvious, prompting questions about whether the shape of the nucleus or the geometry of the jets is creating an exaggerated visual impression. These independent observations arrive on top of several scientific anomalies already associated with 3i Atlas. In recent interviews, Avi Loeb has outlined at least a dozen unusual features, some minor, others more significant. The object is unusually massive compared to previous interstellar visitors. It follows an orbit aligned closely with the plane of the planets, despite entering from interstellar space. It shed nickel-rich material that contains unusually little iron, a composition previously seen in industrial nickel alloys. It produced polarized light in a pattern that isn't common among known comets. It brightened dramatically near the sun in ways that don't fully match standard sublimation models. And most recently, a small but measurable non-gravitational acceleration appears in its trajectory, suggesting forces beyond gravity may be at work. None of these anomalies individually indicate artificiality, but together they form a cluster of open questions, exactly the type of uncertainty that drives heightened scrutiny. Loeb has emphasized repeatedly that 3i Atlas is most likely natural, but must be monitored carefully. His warning is not that the object is alien technology, but that history has shown how easy it is to misclassify unfamiliar interstellar objects without sufficient data. In several recent interviews, he reaffirmed a scenario he has discussed for years. If an interstellar object were artificial, the most likely indicator would be small, probe-like units either maneuvering or appearing near it. He stresses that this is only a theoretical possibility not a specific claim about 3i Atlas. Still, the coincidence is hard to ignore. Just days after Loeb restated this idea, the five-light amateur image appeared online. Statistically, this alignment in time proves nothing. Scientifically, it is irrelevant. But in an environment where official data has been delayed, thousands are watching the object and independent observers are rapidly adding new material the timing inevitably fuels discussion. The key challenge now is separating what the images actually show from what they suggest, because these two categories have already diverged sharply. Part of the tension around 3i Atlas stems from NASA's long silence about the high-resolution image taken by the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter's high-rise camera on October 2. 
That image, which should offer roughly 30 kilometers per pixel resolution, has still not been released. The delay was attributed to the U.S. government shutdown at the time, though several researchers, including Loeb, have questioned why shutdown-related delays should affect the scientific release of raw data already captured. HiRISE's principal investigator is not a NASA employee, raising further questions about the bottleneck. The absence of even a low-quality preliminary frame has created an informational gap large enough for speculation to fill. Meanwhile, NASA has confirmed that its upcoming November 19 event will include official imaging of 3i Atlas from multiple spacecraft and ground-based telescopes. The agency insists there is nothing unusual about the object and that they simply intend to share updated tracking visuals and scientific analysis. However, this will be the first official release of any significant imagery since independent astronomers began sharing their own captures. The timing, especially following weeks of public interest and political inquiries directed at NASA, has amplified expectations far beyond what the agency typically encounters for comet-related events. Scientifically, expectations should remain conservative. NASA's available instruments, aside from Hubble or JWST, if allocated, are unlikely to provide dramatic revelations. Most spacecraft involved are observational platforms, not missions designed to resolve detailed structure in small interstellar bodies. Even if five small objects existed physically around 3i Atlas, most of NASA's current assets would not be capable of detecting them. The Mars orbiters, often mentioned in public discussions, are particularly limited. Their inventory systems are optimized for surface mapping with extremely short exposures and narrow scan patterns. For fast-moving objects at deep space distances, they typically produce only small streak-like points, not detailed structural views. This means NASA's release will most likely clarify the coma, tail behavior, and general brightness trends, but not close-up details of the nucleus or surrounding environment. Still, the delay alone raises valid questions about what to expect. Even if the explanation is routine, the public perception has shifted. People are not just looking for images, but for absence of anomalies, for confirmation or denial of faint signals, for clarity about rotation rates, composition, and trajectory changes. The combination of growing amateur data and the mysterious absence of the high-rise image has created a situation where NASA's upcoming release is effectively expected to put an end to uncertainties it likely never intended to address. The independent observations in New Mexico and Texas also contribute to this heightened environment. The New Mexico capture reinforces the conventional narrative. 3i Atlas shows clear signs of being a typical comet with jets and ion tail and dust structures behaving as expected after perihelion. This is the strongest evidence supporting the idea that the object is natural. In contrast, the five light capture places pressure on the opposite side of the discussion. While the most likely explanation remains an optical artifact, the layout is strange enough that it cannot be dismissed instantly as a simple known pattern. The geometry doesn't perfectly match standard diffraction shapes or internal reflections, at least not in a straightforward way. That subtle ambiguity is enough to fuel hypotheses, especially given that 3i Atlas is already associated with many anomalies and that Loeb's statements about mini probes, while purely theoretical, remain fresh in the public mind. Another factor complicating interpretation is how poorly human intuition performs when evaluating astronomical images. Without understanding sensor behavior, optical path interactions, sky seeing conditions, and the extremely high contrast produced by bright cores in dark fields, it becomes easy to misinterpret what is essentially the camera struggling with intense light. Most five-point patterns observed around bright astronomical objects come from diffraction structures related to the telescope's primary mirror supports or from saturation in the sensor, but this particular pattern does not fall cleanly into any single category, leaving a narrow window of uncertainty that is unlikely to close until higher quality data becomes available. As November 19 approaches, all these threads converge. NASA intends to release updated imagery. Amateur astronomers are generating new data almost daily, 
researchers are publicly discussing rotation, jets, composition, and trajectory anomalies. And at the same time, the absence of the October 2 high-rise image hangs over the discussion like unfinished business. In this environment, even a simple visual irregularity becomes amplified, interpreted not just as noise, but as a potential signal. Whether the five lights are merely artifacts or something that requires further examination, they have already changed the conversation. The images arriving now are not being viewed as isolated snapshots, but as new pieces in a puzzle that is growing faster than the official data flow can keep up with. The next NASA release may answer some questions, but it will not address every uncertainty, nor was it ever designed to. In the end, the significance of the amateur captures may lie not in what they show, but in what they represent. Independent eyes observing an interstellar object at a moment when the world is unusually attuned to it. As 3i Atlas continues its path through the inner solar system, every new observation, confirmed, disproven, or ambiguous, adds to a rapidly evolving picture that is shaping how we respond to objects entering from beyond our star system. And with NASA's long-awaited data now imminent, the next days will likely determine which interpretations hold and which dissolve under clearer scrutiny. The science is still unfolding, and for the first time in months, the next major clue is finally on the horizon.